it happened with my daughter Mila. Um, I mean, there's been a million things. You've seen them, um, but and like my husband is always like, "What? You know, why did you say you think it's great when other girls have crushes on me? People are coming out of the woodworks." You know, I'm like, I didn't know that that headline would be a thing. I just meant I think you're cute, and so that other people do too. Great, you know. Um, but my two years ago, or maybe three, when my daughter first, my eldest first went to sleepaway camp, I received a letter that was like you know, dear mom, when is daddy gonna come get me? And I read it on air because it just was so typical of any of us that have ever gone to camp and missed our families. And she, first of all, you know, of course the mail was delayed. So I, by the time I read it, she was perfectly happy and no longer homesick at camp. But I got like calls from the camp, like, oh my gosh, everything's okay. You know, overreaction, it, it did go viral. Uh, you know, I'm sure your magazine picked it up. Many did. And she was humiliated. Like it's on YouTube. So I think it is, that was a really good lesson because it was innocuous. It was just about being homesick, but it bothered her. And so I think as my kids get older and I know Hoda and I talk about this constantly, we try to navigate like what's their story to tell, you know? And, and if we're ever stepping over something that would make them feel bad later, because things exist forever now, which is not it in the case of when we were growing up, you know? So I think it was a really good lesson because it was it was innocent. You know, it was about how much she missed us and it still kind of embarrassed her. Um, and so anyway, you know, I, I have stopped sharing every single letter and thing that they have said all the time. He's like, I just got, you know, us magazine just wrote that you said that I was, you know, whatever it was. He's like, you got to stop. And I'm like, but honey, you're my fodder. You know, you're the funny counterpart to me. Um, he, he totally does. And he gets that. Um, I mean, he's we've been together for 20 years in September, which is uh, not married, but dated for 20 years. So he totally understands who I am and lets me be me. But I, I also appreciate that sort of like tug and pull where he's like, hold on, honey, don't share that much because it's, I want to be a respectful partner and in an open partnership where we can both tell each other how we feel. So yes, he definitely is. And I think therefore I'm not as open as I probably would be.